Hey, Frank here. So let me be perfectly frank. This stuff about the flat earth going around on YouTube, it's stupid, ignorant, nonsense of the worst possible kind. How can you believe that millions of people are involved in a conspiracy to hide the fact that the earth's really flat? It's just insane. How can these people turn their back on thousands of years of learning because they go out and do some experiment <coughs> that they think shows the earth flat because they don't understand why they don't see curvature. I mean, they even do videos that show the drop in the curvature of the earth exactly as you would expect. And they don't see it. Okay, let's look at a video from Good of All 2, where he shows Toronto from across Lake Ontario and sees exactly what he should see as far as the part of the skyline that's hidden by the curvature of the earth. But he doesn't believe it. Okay, let's watch. I'm pretty sure that's what we're looking at. That is Toronto there, 31 miles. And using AutoCAD, spherical trigonometry, for a, a sphere the size of Earth, there should be 600 feet. You're a bit high. Drop. <laughs> I don't know what it is people don't understand, but according to that, there should be a hump of water between me and Toronto taking a... There is. A good Tell bottom me. portion of that tower and yeah, those you, buildings. Yeah, you did. So it's right there. Are you not looking at it? That's okay. taking away seeing Center Island and things that are below that height are are limitations of our eyes. But now you can clearly see No, it's the it's the water. It's in your way. Look. Okay. So let's go in Google Earth and look at where he is. He's sitting here under this uh, tower. Maybe not this exact tower. Could be the next one down. In Hamilton Beach, Ontario. And he's looking over towards Toronto and the CN Tower. So let's go look there. Okay. There you go. Hmm, he's not quite seeing all of that, is he? Well, okay. Okay, I've done some calculations. My next video will explain them in detail. If we allow for refraction, the result is that 140 meters or about 460 feet should be hidden by the horizon. Now I've added a plane to show with the 140 meters. Everything below the plane is what we expect to be hidden. Everything above the plane is what we'd expect to see in the video. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this image, this, this stuff that sticks through, I'm going to cut that out and I'm going to compare it to his image in the video. See what we see. Okay, so I've zoomed in a bit on his image in the video. And you can see he is seeing the, the CN Tower and he's seeing a couple of the tallest buildings next to it a good way up. Okay, let's freeze that and crank up the contrast. So, okay, this image here, I've just frozen his image and cranked up the contrast to make the light bouncing off the building stand out so we can use that to gauge how it lines up. The black along the bottom is where the water is. Okay, now I've overlaid it with the Google Earth stuff. There it is. Well, that's kind of close. Uh, let's fade back out with the Google Earth and go back to the Go back to the video. On the taller building on the left of the tower. 
Look at how good that lines up. My, you'd, 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 you'd think it was almost like there was 140 meters cut off at the bottom. Roughly. Okay, back out. Okay, let's go in one more time. Okay, so good of all's clip showed us the skyline of Toronto exactly as we would expect on a globe Earth, about the size of the Earth. Actually, his video shows it a little bit bigger if you neglect refraction, but if you correct for refraction, it comes out just about, just as expected. Okay, uh, next video coming up, a uh, walk through how to do the calculations correctly. That's all for now. As always, I've been frank with you. Please try to be honest with yourselves. Good day.